Alright everyone, the problem says a technician experimentally determined the boiling point of octane to be 124.1 degrees Celsius. The actual boiling point is 125.7 degrees Celsius. Calculate the error and the percent error. So in this problem, we're calculating percent error and then to calculate percent error, we also will have to calculate error. So the problem gives us two pieces of information. We get that the experimentally determined boiling point is 124.1 degrees Celsius. So 124.1 degrees C is our experimental value. It's what we did in real life or in lab. And then we have the actual boiling point is 125.7 degrees Celsius. So 125.7 degrees Celsius is the actual boiling point, or I generally call it the accepted value. Could also be called the theoretical value or the true value. Sometimes you'll see those as well. So those are the two bits of information we need to solve this problem. So up in the top right, we have the percent error calculation. So that's what we're gonna to use to calculate percent error. Now, the question is also asking for just the error. What is that? Well, error itself is just the experimental value minus the accepted. So that's in the percent error equation. It's basically this part right here, your experimental minus your accepted. That's also known as just your error. So we could calculate that pretty quickly. We would just take our experimental value, which is 124.1 degrees Celsius, and subtract our accepted, which is 125.7 degrees Celsius. And then doing that math quick, we get an answer of negative 1.6 degrees C. So that's saying that our 124.1 degrees C that we got in lab is 1.6 degrees C less, because it's negative, from what the actual value is, because it's actually 125.7. So our error here is negative 1.6 degrees C. So we can use that in our percent error equation. So we can rewrite our percent error equation now as the absolute value of our error, because it's just the experimental minus the accepted, over the absolute value of our accepted value times 100% to turn this into a percentage. So now we can plug in our values for this equation. So on top of our fraction, we will have the absolute value of negative 1.6 degrees Celsius because we calculated that for our error above. And then under that, we have the absolute value of our accepted value which is 125.7 degrees Celsius. And then again, times 100% to get to a percentage. So let's solve this in our calculator so we can get our final answer. Now, if you have a graphing calculator, there should be a button to use for absolute value. On a TI-84, if you hit the math button, and then you go over to the right, number one says ABS open parentheses. That stands for absolute value. So if you hit enter, you should see the absolute value bars in your calculator. Now, if you don't know where that button's at or you just have a regular basic calculator, again, absolute value just means take the positive. So I'm gonna put negative 1.6 here because I have absolute value bars. If you don't, just put positive 1.6 because that's what my calculator is gonna do here is just take the positive. All right, and then we are going to divide that by 
Again, absolute value. So I'm gonna hit math over and then enter for number one. 125.7. Now, if you don't have that function for absolute value, it's already positive. You don't really even need to change anything. Just use 125.7. Okay, and then we're gonna multiply all of that by 100. Hit enter. And if you put this in your calculator right, you should get positive 1.2728 with some numbers past that. Now we're just gonna round to two significant figures. So we'll get 1.3 here for our answer. So 1.3, and then what are our units gonna be? Well, in our fraction we had degrees Celsius over degrees Celsius. So they are going to cancel because the same thing on top as on bottom will cancel out. And then we have our percentage sign left. So that is what we will have with our final answer. And that makes sense because we are solving for percent error. So we need a percentage. All right, there you have it. You determine the boiling point of octane to be 124.1 degrees Celsius, but the actual boiling point is 125.7. Calculate your error and your percent error. Well, our error is negative 1.6 degrees Celsius, and our percent error is 1.3%. All right, if you wanna see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.